All right. So we're going to be doing a sort of situation uh, for like a fight. So if me, and, if me and my opponent were going, whatever, if I start tagging him, he doesn't like it. With however I'm hitting, I'm not really worried about that. What we're going to look at is if the person shoots. So he comes in and shoots, and we sprawl. Now we're going to look from this position because we want to get the finish. Okay. So come around to this side. So. Once we've sprawled, a common position that you'll get into is a front headlock. So we're around the head and around the arm here, okay? Holding this position. And a lot of times guys will try to spit around to the side here so we can come to the back and we can hit, you know, work for the choke. But if we feel like maybe the, that the, the guy's given a little space, maybe his neck's up, we're going to try to attack here with, a, uh, with an anaconda choke. So we're in a front headlock position, okay? And I'm going to set this up a little bit differently than it, I've typically seen it. So. I'm going to take the arm that's going around the neck, and I'm going to put my palm down. And you'll see why this is important in a second. My other hand is going to be palm up, and I'm going to make a gable grip. Okay, so if you don't know how to do a gable grip, put your thumbs together, and basically like you're packing like hamburgers, meatballs, whatever. No thumbs, gripping. It's a good strong grip, better than this kind of stuff. So go around the neck, gable grip with this outside arm, palm up, and we're going to pinch our arms. What I'm trying to do is get his elbow off of the mat. From here, I'm going to step my hip through and roll his body over. Now, this is why the palm, like where it was, is going to be important. Because now, I don't have to adjust my palm anymore, or my hand. I can just slide in place, grab my bicep, or as high as I can, cup his back, and I'm going to squeeze my arms and walk towards his body for the finish. So again... When he doesn't like it, he shoots in, boom. Okay, I'm going to look at the front headlock position here. Okay, so we're in the position. Again, arm going around the neck. Palm facing down. Palm up. Pinch. And when you guys do this, all you're doing with your hip is you're going to step through. We have to roll to this side because on this side he has his arm to base. This side, we want to pinch and get that arm off so he can't post. Shoot through with our body. Again, from here, once we're in this position, keep your elbows pinching tight. Slide your hand up to your bicep. Or if the guy's a little bit bigger, sometimes you'll only be able to get your forearm. Grip. And you want to squeeze and stay tight. And walk towards his head. So that's an anaconda choke. If the person shoots, you stuff the shot and you find yourself in that front headlock position.